Turn the Other Cheek, Real Talk with Cherry Mahogany. So I was thinking about that whole concept of turning the other cheek. And I understand as a believer, as a child of God, we've been instructed to turn the other cheek. But I was speaking with the Lord about that because I have a problem with that whole saying, that whole concept. And something was revealed to me, at least for me. I don't know if this applies to every other believer out there, but this is how it applies to me. Throughout my walk in life, especially after I have made the decision to dedicate my life to God and to make decisions, keeping God at the helm of the decisions I make, I have noticed that I've created enemies in people who are walking in darkness and who maybe the demons within them hate the Holy Spirit inside of me. So maybe where I never would have been targeted, all of a sudden I have all these enemies, people who just want to throw hate or spread rumors or these different things that are cropping up out of nowhere, it seems. But on a spiritual level, I do understand this is spiritual warfare and it's all intended to take my eyes off of the main purpose, which is walking in God's light and being an example leading others to Christ. I understand that. Now I do. But as far as turning the other cheek, what was revealed to me is that when slander, these evil attacks that come against me, I am not to take matters into my own hands. Those are the times that I am to turn the other cheek. Turning the other cheek meaning putting it in God's hands, trusting that God is going to take care of it, trusting that these people are my enemies, not because of me, but because of the Lord Jesus in me. And so they're his enemies. It's not for me to wish bad on them or to wish anything on them or to speak any curses out of my mouth. Because at that point, I am no longer walking in the light and I've actually entered the, the devil's territory. Turning the other cheek. I asked the Lord this, Lord, I am a martial artist. I'm a fighter. Okay? You have given me a strong level of self-control and that is a blessing. I don't walk around seeking and looking for problems. However, I believe very strongly in defending myself. And because of that, I understand if someone were to put their hands on me, strike me in any way, even look like they were about to strike me. I am not going to tolerate that. I am not going to let them hit me and then give them the other cheek to hit me again. That's not going to happen. So that was a dilemma I had and I came to the Lord and asked about that. So I want to share something with you. Okay. When it comes to myself and my loved ones, I will defend to the death. There will be no turning of the other cheek in a physical way of thinking. Absolutely not. Spiritually, I do not take matters into my own hands. I leave everything to God. I don't curse people. I trust that God is going to prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. I trust that God is going to see about the people who are wishing bad for me. And I go to God in prayer and I leave it to Him. I don't get involved in witchcraft by meaning wishing bad on those who I feel are my enemies. That's what they do. That's what the workers of iniquity do. Those who walk in darkness, that's what they do. But as a child of God, a child who walks in the light, no, that's not my job. I leave it with God and in that way, yes, I turn the other cheek and I offer them my other cheek if they keep wanting to attack me. Because everything that they do to me, God is going to take care of it. And that's why I turn the other cheek in that regard. But as far as a physical altercation or some type of physical threat for myself and my loved ones, I asked the Lord about this and I realized something. If I have the ability to defend myself from years and years of training, and hours and hours of practice and I choose not to I'm not being responsible if I let someone hurt my loved ones and I stand idly by and say well I turn the other cheek I'm just gonna let them beat you to a pulp I'm not taking responsibility the Lord prepared 
all these different levels of training for me. The Lord has given me the physical strength, the mental strength, and the abilities to defend myself. And I will use that. So for those of us out here, those of us who are walking in the light, who are involved in boxing, any type of martial art training, any type of self-defense training, law enforcement, military, okay, firearm training. We are not out here looking for trouble. We are not out here bullying people and taking advantage of people and walking around just looking for someone who we can take advantage of and destroy their life or hurt them. But I do want to make very something very clear. There are children of God, those who are filled with light, who are fighters. And it's not to be taken lightly. We are here to defend. We are here to protect. Okay? And that was revealed to me. So it's not about using it to hurt others. It's about using it to defend ourselves and our loved ones. You hear these stories about something happening outside and someone jumping in. They call them good Samaritans coming and helping someone who needed their help. It's not for the Christian who has the ability to step in and do something to stand idly by and say, well, I'm not going to get involved because I'm supposed to be a pacifist. I am a Christian, so I don't get involved and just watch this person get destroyed. No. Absolutely not. So I just wanted to share this today because don't get it twisted. There's a lot of believers out here who God put a fire inside of them and God put an ability to defend and protect and they are supposed to use that. They are supposed to use that to expect them to sit by and allow evil to dominate this world in every way. Sometimes you might be put in a situation to protect that person or to defend that situation. So don't be one of those weak, limp, pacifist people about everything. Things that have to do with spiritual and slander and all these things, put it in God's hands. Let him handle it. Don't, don't get involved as far as trying to curse someone back or trying to go see someone about taking care of this person. Trust God to handle that. But if someone is in your space and you have already explained to them, I don't want any trouble, but they insist on hurting you or hurting your loved one, what are you going to do? If you have the ability to defend yourself, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, child of God? That's all I wanted to talk about today. Turning the other cheek.